If you don't have a social media account in 2024, you could be missing out on thousands. Accounts like these are going viral every single time, and as a result, being paid tens of thousands of dollars from the TikTok creativity program and other sources of income. If these accounts can scale and grow from zero followers, then so can you. In this video, I'll showcase one of the most viral niches on TikTok and YouTube, talk about what makes this nice so good, and then I'll give you the exact formula that these accounts are using to make this viral content. All right, so it's basically the newest trend in the motivation niche. You have this bait video, and then you basically get the pleasure of telling the viewer off for watching it. It's a pretty good niche, and as a result, it is bringing accounts thousands of views. I'm gonna waste no time and get into creating our own video so that we can start making thousands from this niche. The first thing that we're gonna want for this video is our bait video. There's two ways that you can do this. Basically, the two types of bait videos are either girls or something extremely satisfying. As YouTube might not approve of the first option, I'm going to grab something super satisfying to use for our bait video. So you wanna head to TikTok, and I'm going to search for a hydraulic press video. These are satisfying to watch and will serve as the perfect bait. Scroll around on TikTok until you found one you like. Now copy the link to the TikTok. Next, head to this downloaded called SnapTik and paste in the link. Don't worry, as we're adding edits to this video, it won't get disqualified for original content. Once your bait video is downloaded, we need a script for what we're gonna say to the viewer after they get baited. In order to script this bit, I'm going to head to ChatGPT. Once you're on the AI, I'm going to ask the AI to create a slightly personal script that effectively tells the user off for wasting their time and potential. It's pretty harsh, but these videos tend to do pretty well, so we're gonna go ahead with it. I'm also going to ask the AI to put emphasis on the fact that the viewer is losing track of their goals. The AI has given us back a pretty good script. However, it's also got these junk prompts that we don't really need, so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to remove them by asking it to remove them all. This didn't really seem to work, so I'm going to stop the AI and make sure that it's more specific, saying just the words. All right, it seems that it has worked this time. You can obviously ask the AI to make some changes if you want, However, I'm happy with this script, so I'm just going to copy it. Real quick, if you can't access the creativity program because of your region, I have accounts within the regions in this video's description. Carrying on, we want to make our own voiceover to read out our script. As you might know, I'm a big fan of Eleven Labs, and that's what I'll use in this video. Head to Eleven Labs through the link in this video's description. Once you're on Eleven Labs, we firstly want to hit Voices in the top left. Once the next page has loaded, we need to hit this library tab to find a list of voices that we can use. Now, you want to search around this section for a voice that you like. If you hit this sample button, you can try out different voices that you like. Once you have one you like, you want to add it to your voice library. Give it a name and add it. Once you have your voice, hit speech to head back to the other screen. At the bottom, we need to hit this drop down menu to bring up all our voices. Scroll down, and you want to find the voice we just added, and then click it. Our voice is selected, so paste in your ChatGPT text into the box. Once it's in place, you want to see how many characters it is. You can see here that ours is 991, which is a pretty perfect number to get a one-minute script. In order to make our script a bit better, I'm going to remove this last section and replace it with a call to action. Mine will be a set of text that gets the viewer to follow us. When you're starting out, you want to get to 10K as fast as possible, and call to actions like this are one of the best ways to do so. Once you're happy with your voiceover, you want to hit the Generate Speech button. Once Eleven Labs has done its thing, it normally takes like 20 seconds, download it. All right, we're making good progress, so stick with me. The next thing we need are motivational visuals that we can include in the background of our video. I actually have a pack for sale that contains 4,000 HD visuals in this video's description. In order to get them for yourself, we want to head to a site called Pexels. Pexels is full of free visuals. In the search bar, we firstly want to change the search from photos to videos. Now in the actual search bit, we want to search for luxury. Once the search has gone through, we need to get vertical videos. Click filter on the left click orientation and then vertical. Now this next step is important. We need to download around 30 different videos. That sounds like a lot, However, it only takes one click to download a video, and the more videos we have, the more engaging we can make our motivational video. All right, we now are gonna use CapCut to edit our video. Once on CapCut, you want to start by importing everything we just gathered. The first thing we need to add is our bait video. 
select it and drag it down onto the timeline. Now, we need to go ahead and crop this video just before the satisfying thing happens, so in this example, just before the sweets get crushed. Once that's done, we need to add in the rest of our clips. Drag the first one onto the timeline like so. Now as we have 30 clips, and we need a one minute long video, that means that each clip needs to be two seconds long. So in order to do this, place your cursor two seconds into the clip, and then press W on your keyboard to crop it. Now you're obviously gonna wanna repeat this process for all of the remaining clips in this video. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure that you don't run out of clips to use in this video. Now repeat this process until you reach one minute and one second so that you can qualify for the creativity program when you do eventually hit that 10K mark. Okay, after a minute or two, all your clips should be laid out. Now a lot of your clips will contain sound and we don't want this. To remove the sound, select all your clips, but make sure not to select you bait one. Next, head to the audio tab in the top right of CapCut. You then wanna find the volume slider and drag it all the way to the left. Now, I'm also going to make some visual changes to these clips. In the top left, you wanna select adjustment. Once on this tab, scroll down until you find exposure and set its value to about minus 30. Next, find the shadow slider and set that one to around minus 15. The next thing that we want to add to our video is our voiceover that we got from Eleven Labs. Drag it onto the timeline and you want to position it so that it starts as soon as the bait video ends. Mine voiceover slightly goes past the end of my clips, so I'm just gonna add another to the end, making sure to also reduce its volume. All right, our video is really coming together. The last thing that we wanna add is some engaging captions. To do this, hit text in the top left of CapCut. Next, hit auto captions, make sure the language is English, and then hit generate. Once you have a set of captions, you firstly wanna drag them to the middle of your screen. Next, head to the top right of CapCut, and under this drop-down, select a font for your video. I'm gonna go with this one as it looks serious, which is the vibe we want for our video. Then scroll down and select the boxes under stroke and shadow to give our video that bit more depth. Once that's done, you wanna hit the animation in the top right, then hit captions, and then pick an animation you like to really bring our text to life. Our video is done now, so hit export. Here's what our video should look like now. Hey you. Yes you. What are you doing right now? How long have you been staring at that screen? How many hours have slipped away while you've been lost in this endless scroll of useless content? Do you even remember what you wanted to achieve today? This week? This month? Check this video's description for the best assets for your TikTok page. Bye.